Excuse me. Can you stop moving your elbows about? It's a real space hogger. I don't wave me elbows about. You do. You like a flaming gibber. Oh. You don't even know you're doing it. Yeah, well, at least I can make toast without burning it to a crisp. That is how they serve it in France. Oh, sorry. I didn't realise we are in Pompidou Centre. Yeah, well, that's not Pompidou. That's Pompidou. I... What's up? It's a letter calling me as a witness for defence. Oh, well, that's uh, your chance to help my mouth, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, uh, what time are we meeting that journalist? Oh, not till five. Nick, I've done you a beautiful bacon bloom with my lovely. <laughs> David, I've done you an egg in a cup, blood. Mm, I'll just bob some coffee on. Mm, no. Sorry. Sorry. Stop wriggling. I'm not. Yes, you are, and don't tut at me. I never. Yes, you did. Look, you're spitting all over your skirt. Right, go on. Go and clean your teeth. I've cleaned them. Well, clean them again. You smell milky. Yeah, that's a what stage of the relationship is this? Is this where you're not talking to me or when I'm not talking to you? Is it the one where you get all mardy and I get stroppy? Or is it where we sit down and actually talk about how we feel? Oh, look at my masculinity slide down the drain. Morning. Morning, Gail. And how are you feeling today, babe? How are you feeling after yesterday's little upset? Oh, well, I just thank my lucky stars I'm here with you, Trej. Getting your support. You can't put a price on that, can you? No. You know, prison is like Big Brother. Nobody understands just how stressful it is, unless they've actually been in it. Still, I've got my mum coming today. Deidre? Well, it wouldn't be the Oxo mum, would it? I'm sorry, Gail. It's just, I'm that het up about seeing her. Like a cat on a hot tin roof. Yeah, that is exactly what I'm like, because I can ask her about Amy, you know? I'm meeting my new legal team today, so I'm nervous. You've got to be strong, Gail. And then you've got to come back here and tell me all about it. Talk it through. You know, if you don't share it with somebody, it can actually drive you mad. They've done studies. OK, thanks. You know, sometimes I think I haven't really got a purpose in life. But since being in here, I think when I get out, I'm going to start up a woman's charity really help those people that need it to get through prison in one piece. Well, then, it's good to have a plan. Oh, yeah, babe. It's always good to have one of them. I like chocolate cake. Everyone wants a piece. Uh, uh, have you seen Tina? No. She's like she's disappeared off the face of the earth. Just hope she's all right. I know. Um, have you seen that? Oh. oh. Not going to pass comment, Eileen. I know she didn't do it, Audrey. Mm, right. I said to Jason, he should break in. It's his flat as well as Tina's. He's trying to sell it. I, I think she's back next week. I think she said that. Um, I thought you said you hadn't seen her. I haven't. What? To how do you know what she said? I follow her on Twitter. And Jason shouldn't break in. I mean, what's a broken door going to look like to prospective buyers, eh? Grandma, we love you. Grandma, we do. Oh, is this a beautiful oh, song, you Mrs. Goldsby? We think of you. Oh, look, look, customers first, David. Oh. What's he like, Mrs. Winklestein? Honestly, it's totally lost the plot. Happen he wants something. Oh, yes, Natasha, you might be right. What are you after, David? Can I get off early today? Oh, yeah, you got that fella coming round, haven't you? The journalist, yeah. Audrey's daughter's in prison, isn't that shocking? No. Natasha, thank you, she's on remand. And it's a total miscarriage of justice, Mrs. Bootsby. Mark my words about that. Yeah, so I wanted to get the place ship shape because he's going to want to take photographs and that. I hope. 
If I'm ever banged up for murder, I have this much support on the outside. Do you know what I'm saying, Mrs. Boosby? Hi, Audrey. Oh. So, can I grab? Yes, yes, go on, take the afternoon off. <laughs> Deirdre, hi. You've not got an appointment, have you? No, no, I just wondered if you got anything for tomorrow. Her daughter's in prison and all. God, everyone's daughter's in prison, isn't that weird? Hey, and your daughter in prison too, Mrs. Boothsby? Secure psychiatric unit. That is mad. Literally. David, David, could you book uh, Deirdre in for tomorrow, please? I can, Shirley. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Hobnob. Oh. Hi, you're Els. How was your meal last night? Oh, fine. Yeah. Why did he cut you? Tag your telly carbonara. I thought it was your favourite. All right, then. Tag your telly carbonara, and <laughs> <laughs> Are we still up for salsa later? Oh, I don't know. I'm really tired today. Oh, don't be like that. We always have a laugh once we get there. I didn't see how I'm going to go, did I? Hiya. All right. I haven't seen you in ages. How have we been keeping? All right, yeah. Been working every hour God sends at that vile supermarket, and you know how much I love that. Oh, I thought you hated it. So, did you do anything about applying for that machinist job at the factory? I applied for it. Hiya. Hiya. Hey, we were just talking about that job at the factory. I've got my interview tomorrow, Ooh. but I don't reckon I'll get it. Why not? Because I'm rubbish. It's only to be a trainee. I know, but... Well, why don't you come over the factory and shut up shop tonight, eh? I'll give you some pointers. Oh, all right, Kirk. I'm only trying to be nice. Kirk, don't look a gift horse up its what's it. Fizz! Yo! Tea Max. Just having a bite to eat. Yay! <laughs> I love eating. Eating makes you strong. <laughs> Tom, how's life in the real world? Yeah, great. And not great all at the same time. Great because, like, N dubs were on the radio this morning, and I just think that that blonde bird is like well hot, yeah. and I just can't get her out of my head. Yeah. Hmm. And not great? Yeah, um... Eileen's been having a go at me, yeah. saying that Jason's thinking about breaking the door down. But it's all right, I put a stop to her. Right. Yeah, thanks. Uh, why are you being serious? I think so. Oh, yeah, and by the way, if anyone asks, you're on Twitter. Should we, uh, should we go for a little walk after you finish that sandwich? Um, I only washed my hair half an hour ago. I'll go out there, I might catch a cold. So. Okay, how about tonight then when it's dark? Um, I'll, I'll think about it. Yeah. Tina, you've got to do it sometime. I have done it. What? <laughs> you went as far as the door? Okay, well, if you can't hack it. I can. Okay, all right, tonight. Hmm? When it's dark. Oh, and the bag of dry roasts, please. How's your assessment going? All right, yours. Yeah, fine, if only Lloyd had pull his finger out. Why, where's he stuck it? Oh, no, he's meant to be writing Eddie's reference. Well, um, <clears throat> you see, he's uh, doing mine and all, and he's known me a long time, so it's bound to be quite detailed. Is there any need to be quite so competitive? Huh? I won't worry about it, Liz. We'll be kissing goodbye to that application any day now. We're royally screwing it up big time. Her temper. Your ex. I don't even know why the social services are bothering with you. All you do is bicker. Uh, children's services. Right? It's all been rebranded, hasn't it, Eddie? Yeah, yeah. Like marathons. They'll seek to paint a picture of you and Joe as having an incredibly rocky marriage. It wasn't that bad. In fact, you had a furious argument when you refused to go along with his plan to fake his own death. Who wouldn't? Yeah. Sorry. And then, when he decided to go ahead with his plan anyway, you lashed out at him. I'm not a violent person. Ask anybody who knows me, they'll tell you that. You know that, don't you? Miss Waller. Then decided to leave him to drown. That's madness. That's the prosecution case. Yeah. 
You two can bang your heads together. Might knock some sense into us. Oh, yeah, it might. Becky, I'm not being funny, but... Is it really a good idea to be actively bringing a kid, a troubled kid probably at that, into an atmosphere like this? You two bickering and sniping. But I'd love them, Liz. But what example would you be setting? They might come from a home where rows like yours and Steve's really get out of hand. You might bring it all back home to them. Well, I know we're not perfect, but... When it comes to adopting kids, I reckon some love's better than none. And the bus driver didn't have a clue where he was going. I said to the woman sitting next to me, I said... Uh, less you, more me. Sorry. You know, I'm actually fuming about that Becky one. How dare she threaten me? Well, I spoke to Becky and she said... Well, she said she didn't mean it. Oh. Well, that's all right, then. Not. Look, love, you've got to try and think positive. Can you think of all the money you've got coming in the inheritance? Yeah, well, thanks for letting me find out from her. Well, you sent her the visiting order. You're not exactly Snow White. I can't enjoy knowing I've got money, ma'am. It's not real in here. But what is real is that my daughter is going to grow up not knowing who the hell I am. Promise me. Promise me that you won't let anyone stop me seeing Amy. Please. Um, this is this is Nick, my brother. Hi. Uh, Dan, the journalist. Dan Lees. Good to meet you, mate. Yeah, good to meet you too. Drink? I'm caffeined up to here, mate. I can get you something stronger if you like. No, you're all right. Driving. So, uh, yeah, basically, I need you to write an article, something about the miscarriage of justice. It's what's going on with my mum at the moment. Right. Uh, I've got a petition going, so I've got like 12 names on that so far, uh, plus a Facebook group. <sighs> Look, uh, to cut a long story short, Precy never was my brother's strong point. Uh, my mum marries this guy, let's call him Joe, because that was his name. Uh, Joe's in debt up to his eyeballs, so he decides to fake his own death so he can cash in on his life insurance. Anyway, the plan goes wrong. Joe actually drowns by accident while staging his own death, we think. Mum gets fingered for his murder. Can you believe that? You seem like a nice guy, Dan. We're hoping we could count on you to fight Mum's corner in the press prior to next week. I'd love to, mate. Nothing would give me greater pleasure. However, legally, I can't print nada till after the trial. <sighs> Got that? Yeah. Now, remember. Nice and slow, easy does it. Ah, it's dead easy, this. Slower! Slow down, Mr Fox. Kurt! Ah! Oh, Kurt, for God's sake, I said slowly. My finger's stuck up with a being handicapped. I very much doubt it. Oh. oh, let me face your plaster. You're not taking this seriously? I am. I really want this job. I reckon I'm a natural. I haven't had a job for yonks. How long is a yonks? Even me own barrister seems to think I'm fighting the losing battle. Do you want some contraband nail polish on? It's not allowed, is it? Well, no, but it's see-through, so they'll never twig. You've got really good hands, considering. Considering what? In fact, I'm 82. <laughs> no. Considering the stress you're under in here, most people bite their nails down to the stubs. You can learn a lot in this place if you keep your luggles pinned back in the canteen. And I think you'd get a much more lenient sentence. Do you know what lenient means? If you pleaded guilty to a lesser offence, like, um, manslaughter. I'm not guilty, Tracy. Might I remind you, you might be a cold-blooded killer. I'm not. I take back what I said about your hands. Your cuticles are shocking. Lovely footwork, Anna. Are you leading, Hayley? She's always leading. So 
three. And one and two and three and four and stop. <laughs> A vast improvement, one or two of you, particularly you, Gerald. Now, don't forget, next week it's 15 minutes earlier. My mother's having a hysterectomy and the visiting times are a nightmare. Those of you that want to see the new gowns, please stay behind and I'll bob them out of the day. Are you staying behind? Oh, no, I can make my own gowns. Oh, come on, it'll be a laugh. <sighs> it's doing really well. Right, Peter. Yeah, with a capital L O Z E R. <laughs> I reckon I might be able to go back to work too. Yeah, that's brilliant. Well, my work here is done. <laughs> All right, Lisa. <laughs> so, she's always vile to me. Well, you know what they say. Who? When you're horrible to someone, it's because you're fighting your feelings for them. Jackson. Graham, look at you. Sex god in human form. <laughs> She'd be a fool to turn you down. Yeah. But my mum's always quite vile to me. Oh, <laughs> does that mean she's like fighting her feelings for me? Uh, no, that's because you set fire to your grand's house with her inside. Yeah, good point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I should have warned you about that. There's no escaping from it, is there? Come on, let's get you home. <laughs> oh, God, Ailey, you look gorgeous. <laughs> Have you got a mirror? Full length, next to my signed photo of Arlene Phillips. <laughs> oh, Ailey, you should buy that, you know. Oh, that'd be profligate. <laughs> it really suits you. Does it? He's right. She won't listen to me. You should always listen to your partner. She's not my partner. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I thought you were lesbian. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious! <laughs> but I'm glad you're not. Really glad. Uh, particularly <laughs> having seen you in that dress. If the uh, three-figure price tag is putting you off, I can accept payment in instalments. Oh. <laughs> Every sequin was sewn on by a blind person. I love clothes that tell a story. I'll take it. Hey! Oi, big bird. I need to see the police. Oh, I. I've got some vital information for him. Leave it with me, Barla. Smoky bacon. Can I have one? Tell my wife, everything I have is yours and my own do I give you. Liz reckons I shouldn't enough kids. Ah, uh, no, I never said that. All right. But we do need to think about it all again, weigh everything up. No, come on, cos... I don't know, maybe Tracy sticking her arm in is just like... God's way of saying, stop wasting your time. You're destined never to have children. You don't even believe in God? Yeah, I do. When I feel like it. I make Amy say prayers all the time, actually. Dead boring, like. She prays for half a cast of High School Musical and half a cast of Glee. She's far too young to be watching that. Should we just give it up? Oh, you don't really mean that. I don't... Oh, hi, Deirdre, love. Oh, here we go. Dracula's mother. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Could I have a large red wine, please, Liz? As if you have to ask. I, uh, I went to see Tracy today. God, it's over now, round her gaff, in it. And with a special dispensation from the, um, thingy. Oh. The governor. She's convinced him to send out another visiting order. She wants you two and her to sort out your differences. I've done it. I've got your confession. Today, she confessed to killing Joe. And I'd be more than happy to stand up and say this in a court of law. As long as... 
My situation here gets reassessed in a move me to an open prison type of way. Well, on the back of a second-hand confession. Ten a penny. I could confess to you right now that I killed Joe McIntyre, but it doesn't mean it's true. Well, there was one other thing. She told me how she did it. I know what the murder weapon was, do you? What did she say, Tracy? She hit him with a rolling pin. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but it makes me giggle every time I think about it. <clears throat> she hit him with a rolling pin she found in the house, but like afterwards, she cleaned it and she hid it somewhere. Thank you, Miss Barlow, you've been very helpful. Just being a good citizen, guys. Suit you. Well, poor girl, well, there's a potted history of one of the street's best-loved characters at itv.com slash Corrie with a look back at the very turbulent life of Gail McIntyre. Next tonight, from a luxury liner to an 80-year-old tall ship, six celebrities try out two very different ways of life when they're all at sea. <laughs>